Hey guys, my name is Simsy and welcome back to some more FIFA 15 Manchester United career mode. Guys, this is season 6, episode 4. We are in the January transfer window and we have a hell of a pre-contract signing. We managed to sign James Rodriguez. I did call him James Rodriguez in my Real Madrid career mode for the first season. I didn't realise his name was James. Um, and you guys gave me a battering for it in the comments, so thank you for that. Anyway guys, in today's episode we have two matches, the first of which is a home match at Old Trafford against Liverpool. In the last episode we managed to draw 2-2, Liverpool played really quite well, Rondon was tearing it up on the pitch, um, and then later on in the day's episode we have an away match against Chelsea at Stanford Bridge. So we're going down to London to verse Chelsea. Hopefully we can pick up a win, but we do need to focus on beating Liverpool here today, who we're drawn against. We did beat Chelsea earlier on in the season. Uh, Ronaldo scored four goals. <laughs> but guys, also in today's episode, we do have a lot of pre-contracts coming to the club. And we do have the January transfer deadline day. But look at Liverpool here. They're playing such a big defense. Try not to let me through. But nice ticky-tacker foot ticky-tacker Football manages to break it down, and it took me until the 78th minute to break the deadlock against Liverpool. There weren't many chances, and uh, it, it took a really nice piece of play. It was it kind of like spilled a bit more near post OP. A really quite lucky goal here, but I did manage to bring on Adnan Janazai, and uh, Ronaldo's on the ball here with the scoop ten. He broke he broke away back. I should have had the first time shot. Um, but like I said, Liverpool played superb football in this match. They really quite shut me down. Uh, they, I did have a lot of chances, but they weren't really that good, uh, to be honest. Jerome Boateng has left. Schalke, he's going to PSG. So we do have some pre-contracts coming in now. I could have signed Faguli, Paul Pogba. I was trying to sign Messi, but he just wouldn't sign the fucking contract, which is so annoying. Adnan is going on a short-term loan to QPR. He did play actually pretty all right in that other match. We're trying to sign Messi, but it's he's just not working here. Now, John Flanagan is looking like a superb player as well. We're trying to get Messi on the contract, and it is pouring down at my house. Jesus, the rain is just lifted up here. But, guys, we will be signing Paul Pogba next season and John Flanagan. 88 overall, 27 years of age. We really don't have that left center back, I guess. Um... Obviously, uh, who was it? Gareth Bale is playing that left centre-back role. So we'll be bringing in Paul Pogba, and I'm sure the Scousers will be hating John Flanagan coming uh, to United for free, especially. Now, we did get an offer here from Tyler Blackett, 25 years of age, 66 overall. <sighs> Tyler Blackett, I've been giving him chances here, and now I've been loaning him, and I gave him a little bit of first-team football in the first season. But it looks like he'll be going on to Reading. Hopefully, we can make a profit for him. But we'll just have to see. Not too much transfer negotiations from other clubs. Just basically pre-contracts for the future. And Tyler Blackett is on his way to Reading. I did give him a fair amount of chances. But, I don't know. He's just glitched. He doesn't want to... I don't know. Why would I keep a 66 overall player who's 25 years of age? I've got 17-year-olds that are like 75 overall like plus 10 stats it's ridiculous so guys we have an away match here against Chelsea it's going to be a big one they're currently beating us in the table they're currently on 83 points we're currently on 82 so one point difference between us we really need to beat Chelsea here today obviously that draw against Liverpool put us back a bit we did manage to reconcile and beat them only 1-0 however but today, we really need to give Chelsea a battering. We do beat them on goal difference with five goals. So, hopefully, we can beat them here today. But Ronaldo here, with some nice skill moves, manages to get the scoop turn off. And the shot was pretty ambitious and went wide. But nice ticky tack of football here from Ronaldo. Manages to find Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard gets the cross in at Wayne Rooney, but Waza couldn't arise to the occasion. Wayne Rooney manages to scoop it into Ronaldo. He climbs up, but Kane manages to get it clear. On the stroke of halftime, Chelsea trying to create something. Martin on the ball here manages to find Diego Costa, but we do manage to get it clear. Just what a ball here from Robert Lewandowski to find Cristiano Ronaldo. He breaks away one-on-one -on -one against Peter Cech and manages to make it 1-0. Grabbing them damn titties on the stroke on the 45th minute. Guys, 
hopefully we can go and beat Chelsea here today. It was a pretty big counter attack from the from the cross uh, to Robert. Uh, what was it? Diego Costa. But speaking of Robert on the ball here with the Ronaldo chop, he gets his shot at Peter Cech, and uh, not really too big goal scoring tallies in today's episode. Two one nil wins. But uh, I'm definitely going to take the three points out of both. So, guys, I am going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ben Simpsey. Remember to leave a like. And remember, go out and have a fantastic rest of your day after you watch this video. Goodbye, guys. Thank you very much.